Welcome to In Business, a series produced by Good Morning Belfast for the Belfast Area Chamber of Commerce. Meet business people, nonprofit leaders, and others who work to make Belfast and Waldo County prosperous and vibrant. The Chamber of Commerce provides networking and training for businesses, strategies for new economic development, and promotions for attracting visitors to the Belfast area. Find out what's happening in business across Belfast and Waldo County and meet the people who are making it happen. Hello, I'm Steve Ryan. I'm the Executive Director of the Belfast Area Chamber of Commerce. And we are here in the First Church of Belfast. I want to thank Reverend Kate and Reverend Joel for being great hosts and having us tape our session right here. And I want to welcome our guests from the Bangor Daily News, which is a chamber member here in the Belfast area and has been for quite some time and been very active and supportive. So welcome to you both. Thank you. We have uh, Joellen Easton and we have Abby Curtis with us. And I'm going to ask each of you to talk a little bit about your role with the Bangor Daily News and also your uh, presence and connections to the Belfast area. Okay, great. Well, um, I am the Waldo County reporter for the paper and I have been um, I became the Waldo County reporter in 2010, and I did take a couple of years of hiatus um, when I was working on feature stories um, primarily, but now I'm back at it and really excited to be um, reporting the news from here again. And um, I live in Belfast. I've lived here for some time now, um, and I love it here. I'm from Orono originally, but mm -hmm. um, I really feel like Belfast is the best adopted main home anyone could ever hope for. I feel the same way, and uh, we see each other all over town. You're really present, and you're really get around. So it is great to run into you everywhere that things are happening. Oh, thank you. I like running into you too, and I appreciate that. And in Waldo County and Belfast, in particular, people are not shy about coming up and saying hello and telling me things that they would like to get some focus on. I think people here really, really care about the community mm -hmm. and what happens in it, and that makes my job a lot easier. It's a lot easier when people care a lot. Mm -hmm. It would be very hard to be a reporter in a place that people um, were indifferent to. Right, yes. We get uh, most of our uh, connections in the co-op or the hardware store. <laughs> Joe, uh, you also have uh, connections here. You have a role here. You want to describe that a little? Sure. Uh, so I grew up in Belfast. Um, and then I, after I graduated from high school here, I left town for about 20 years and just came back a couple of years ago to work at the BDN. And I'm living in the house I grew up in, and I'm so excited to be back in town. It's a great place to be from, and it's a great place to come home to. And it's really great to have the Bangor Daily News with such a focus on Waldo County and the Midcoast. Uh, we appreciate that very much. Uh, Abby, from your perspective, uh, you know, how is that working? And uh, you know, it must be gratifying that the Bangor Daily News cares. It's super gratifying, and I have to say that um, I'm proud that we have never turned our back on Waldo County, even as the paper has had some changes over the years. I feel like this has always been an important location for us. We still have a bureau that's open here. That's a point. Um, we did close the one um, over Alexia's Pizza that people knew us for. However, we've moved into um, a lovely spot close to the Creative Coalition. Um, so we're still around, still in downtown Belfast, and still really um, eager to just keep on focusing on, on the news of the day, which there has been no shortage of lately. This is a happening <laughs> place. And uh, Joe, you were above Alexia's Pizza, and uh, you were, uh, your role at the paper uh, is community involvement and connections. Uh, where do you see things headed? Well, I actually was not working with the paper at the time when, when we had the bureau over the, over the pizza shop. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I lead audience development at the BDN, and my focus is on digital subscriptions and growing our community involvement and engagement work. Uh, in 2019, we're really looking forward to doing a great deal more uh, in communities and asking the readers of the paper to share with us, um, what do you need from us? What do you, especially in the Belfast area and Waldo County, what do you want us to cover that we haven't covered? Um, and we're looking forward to doing that online, over the phone, in person, so stay tuned. Well, thank you for being here. Great to have you, and we'll see you around town. Thank you. Thank you. The Chamber of Commerce provides networking and training for businesses, strategies for new economic development, and promotions for attracting visitors to the Belfast area.